Hello, hello, everyone. My name is Melissa Faust from stampwithmelissa.com and welcome to my Tuesday night live video, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube or catching the replay. Hello and welcome. I see Melly is on already from Italy. Hello from Italy. Um, I'm not in Italy, so hello to Italy. <laughs> um, as you join, whether you're watching live or if you're catching the replay, please say hello, leave a comment, and let me know you're watching. Um, I was at an event this past weekend and several people came up to me and said, I watch your videos and they don't comment. So you have to comment so I can know you. <laughs> um, hi, Lori. Welcome. Uh, welcome. Welcome, everyone. So today is Tuesday, August 1st, 2023. It is 5 p.m. Central Time, which is my local time. My name is Melissa Faust. I am from stampwithmelissa.com and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in the great state of Minnesota. Um, it is, it was really, really, really warm here last week. It's not like as bad. It's let's see it right now. It is 85, which I feel like is not like that bad. Um, but I'm in the basement. I'm freezing. So full disclosure, I've got a blanket wrapped around me. <laughs> My arms are free, but I'm wrapped. <laughs> oh, hello everyone. Let's see. Okay. Lots of you said hello while I was blabbing. <laughs> hello, Lori Kelly. April, Alicia, Deborah, and thank you for sharing and liking the video already. Make sure to do that. Give it a thumbs up, share it, follow me if you aren't already. Um, yeah, today we are trucking along. Before we get there, we've got some things to talk about. So uh, yeah, buckle up. <laughs> Let's see how many car puns I can make today. <laughs> uh, buckle up, we're trucking along. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm just going to jump right straight into it. And I'm going to flip down so you can see my desktop here. And uh, first piece of business, look what came in my mailbox today. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is the new mini catalog, like the one that's coming out. You can see it's a September through December 2023. Now, Stampin' Up! will not get mad at me. They said I could share the cover of the catalog with you. Here it is. I can't share anything else. I can't open this up. I can't show you. Well, maybe I could show you the back. I don't know. They just said the front cover. So I'm not going to flip to the back. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. And this catalog is always my favorite catalog. But I have to tell you guys that it is so good. Actually, I flipped through. They always put the Christmas stuff in the beginning. That's not a secret. If you've gotten one of these holiday catalogs before, you know. Christmas and winter is in the beginning. And I was flipping through on the PDF last week and I was like, oh my gosh, that's right. There's fall. <laughs> like I got to the fall stuff and I was like, oh yeah, that's right. This catalog has fall stuff in it. Right. Anyway. So this is a big deal. If you're a demonstrator, watch your mailboxes because Stampin' Up! sent these bad boys out. Um, and I posted on my Facebook page too. It was really special because my mom Yes, Alicia got hers today, too. She sent me a message and said, look what I got. <laughs> um, it's just, well, okay, let me tell the one thing, then I'll tell the other thing. <laughs> um, it was really cool because my mom, after the Norway cruise, my mom was like, I want to join, right? So, you know, being young like I am and bringing my mom on the trip, we can say that demonstrators are typically... They typically look like my mom and not like me, right? So um, my mom got a lot of congratulations on the boat and she had to say, it's not me, it's her. <laughs> hey mom, we're talking about you. You must have uh, heard or your ears were ringing or whatever. <laughs> um, and so a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, don't you love being a demo or whatever? And she's like, well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. And I've tried to get her to do it for a long time. And she's been like, no, 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 no. Well, after that cruise, she was like, yeah, okay, let's do it. So she is now a demonstrator and both of our catalogs came today. And that was like the most special thing ever. Um, so that was really awesome. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I know I said I had two things. I don't know what the other one was. Um, oh, hey, Kathy, we're matching weather. Awesome. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Hmm. Hmm. No idea. Um, Sarah, no, you didn't miss me. We are on live now. Um, what was I going to say? Gee willikers. Yeah, the squirrel took my thoughts. Oh my gosh. There was a squirrel eating our sunflowers this morning and that was irritating. <laughs> Speaking of squirrels. Anyway, um, my mom bought a sunflower yesterday and it was being eaten today. Um, anyway, 
Okay, so yeah, it's so cool that she joined. She doesn't regret it. I can speak for her, but I know she doesn't regret it. Um, yeah, but it, oh, the other thing I was gonna say is that I so I posted a picture of my mom and I holding our catalogs on to Facebook maybe about an hour or so ago, and someone commented and said, "Have fun." picking out what you're going to get. And I was like, oh my gosh, I had the PDF last week. My spreadsheet is made. <laughs> so it is funny because I am fine looking at the online versions. It is the same to me. The only thing with getting the physical catalog in my hands is it makes me more excited, but I still want all the same sets. <laughs> um, and so far my wish list hasn't grown, but we'll see. We'll see. What are the colors on the catalog cover? Oh, gee, Lori. Come on, asking the hard questions. I don't think this is technically a Stampin' Up! color. Uh, or if it is, it's very light. I don't I don't think this one is, but this one looks like shaded spruce. And this one looks like um, Evening Evergreen, but we don't have that color anymore. So I'm not really sure. Great question. I'll see if I can figure that out. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is filled with so many good things and you are going to love it. Oh, there. See, I told you I could talk for my mom. She said she loves it. So speaking of demonstrating, <laughs> um, I went to a demonstrator event on Sunday and I wanted to share a little bit of what I got there. So um, there's a group in Minnesota called Stamp Share for Leaders. Um, I had not heard of it. Oh, Alicia's wish list grew. Yeah. <laughs> I had not heard of it before. Um, and then my upline got involved. So who I signed up under, bought my starter kit through, she got involved and she let me know about it. And so Alicia and I got to go with my upline, Sue Kramer, on Sunday to this demonstrator event. We trekked all the way out to Medina, which is like 45 minutes away, which actually it wasn't that far. You know, we chatted, we had a great time. So it seemed like we were there and back very fast. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you some cute things. Now I did, I did participate in the swapping. I'm not showing uh, the swapping stuff here. Um, layering stencils. Well, I don't know if I'm allowed to say anything, Kathy. So I'm just going to say, I don't know. You have to see. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway. Um, anyway. So I did swap. I'm not going to show you the swaps today. I promise I will in the near future. But I wanted to show you. Look at this. This was our name tags. So everyone had a cute little name tag. And how adorable was this? The little pin to pin it on. Um, and these were all die cut with the paper florist dies. And then they used a brad to hold it together. How clever is that? Wouldn't have thought of that on my own. I know we used to have these. Do we still? Heck yeah, we do. Look at that. Round and square bread. So we've got a whole little bin of them. Um, there are little ones, you know, round and square. Um, black and white. Super awesome. So they used that to hold the flowers together, which I thought was cool. And the other really cool thing was Sarah Douglas, the CEO, was there. And then Logan, and I don't know his last name, but Logan from Stampin' Up! <laughs> he was there too. Um, so this is really, really pretty with that boho blue designer series paper from the Cheerful Daisies. So we got name tag, um, Stampin' Up gave us a cool pin. So it is Stampin' Up's 35th anniversary this year. And so they are attending, people from the home office are attending 35 events around the world run by demonstrators. And so, uh, this was one of them. And so they gave us this cool pin. I'm trying to show you. It says 35 years. And then there is a shirt that demonstrators can order that has this like dotty pattern on it. Um, that's really cool too for the 35th anniversary. And so that's fun. And then, oh, they also gave us a kind bar. And I, I mainly added this because I have a question. Has anybody watching, have you ever had this kind of kind bar? It's called peanut butter, dark chocolate. It's a mini. I don't think that matters. You could have had the full size. Um, but my question is, and I know I could totally just open it and try it, <laughs> but I love peanut butter and chocolate together, but I don't like dark chocolate. So it doesn't seem like there's a lot of dark chocolate in here. Will I like it? <laughs> Answer me that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, I know I could totally just try it, but I'm like, hmm, do I try it or do I give it to somebody else who I know would like it? Oh, my mom would love it. Okay. She can have it. <laughs> Um, and then my upline Sue Kramer gave me and Alicia this cute little bag. She chauffeured us around and gave us presents. So we were pretty spoiled. Um, so thank you, Sue, for this. We've got post-its and pens and candy. And then one of Sue's swap cards in here. Okay, I wanted to make sure she didn't have like her address there because I didn't want to publicly display her 
address. Um, Lori, you don't like dark chocolate either. I know we're both white chocolate people, huh? So um, yeah, I'm only a little nervous for, about that, but I would think that the peanut butter would overpower, right? And that would be good because I love peanut butter. So anyway, um, all that to say, this cute little bag from Sue. So if you are interested in becoming a demonstrator and you want to see what's in that mini catalog, demonstrators actually get to pre-order from it starting tomorrow at like 4 a.m. my time. <laughs> Who wants to take bets on if I'll get up early or not? <laughs> uh, anyway, so you can add, so demonstrators can pre-order anything out of that mini catalog. Um, you can add, if you're not a demonstrator, you can add any of those items to your starter kit. So that is, uh, oh, Kathy, you like the bar. Okay. Um, you can do that if you'd like to. Now, uh, otherwise, the catalog goes live on September 6th. And um, yeah, so ask me any questions about that if you have them. Um, and then you'll also get the opportunity to join in this fun demonstrator event with us next year because they do have a virtual option if you're not local to Minnesota. Or if you are local to Minnesota, you can join and come with us. And it'll be so much fun. Okay, anyway, can you tell I just get excited? I loved it. <laughs> I had so much fun. Um, Alicia thinks I'll get up early. How early? Do you think I'll get up at four? <laughs> or do you think I'll just get up at like 4.01? No, we're just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's that. Um, also, if you have shopped with me in the last year, I sent you an email. Well, the most recent one came yesterday. If you have not already ordered or requested, I should say, your copy of that mini catalog. So if you have not requested it, you got an email yesterday. If you've already requested it, you didn't get an email. If you haven't seen any emails from me about requesting a catalog and you are my customer, make sure you email me, okay? Um, yes, it was so much fun. My mom thinks I'll get up at five. Well, if I get up early, I can go back to bed till I really have to get up, right? <laughs> okay, so let's, let's keep chatting, but also not chatting. So today we are playing with the trucking along set. Now, I'm sorry for those of you who have not gotten the punch yet. I'm sorry. It is unavailable until October, but I know a lot of you listened to me and you ordered it early. So I know a lot of you have it. So um, this is the stamp set. This is the main feature of our cards today. Um, you can absolutely fussy cut the truck out. We're not doing any like fun punch art where we only use the punched pieces. Um, so you can absolutely cut them out as well. Okay. Um, oh, I love it. Um, okay. So we are going to play with this. This is also the stamp set that I am featuring all month long for my club create. So I'm going to show you those cards. I did do a sneak peek video, um, talking all about club and showing these, but if you join club create in August, you will get to make two each of these beautiful cards. And you can tell here too, um, like this one, I stamped the tree in the back. So you'd have to fussy cut that anyway. Right. Um, this one doesn't use the punch. This one, you could either just stamp the gifts or, you know, whatever you want to do here. You could use the punch or not use the punch. And then this one also doesn't use the punch. So you don't need the punch, but you absolutely can use it if you have it. <laughs> you see, I tried to balance that out there. <laughs> um, oh, that's such a bummer, Kathleen. Call Stampin' Up and they'll fix that for you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, so if you are interested in joining Club Create, it is so much fun. I love my Club Create members so much. And um, I've got a fun, this is like, I haven't told any of them yet, but we've got some fun things coming for Club. I've got, well, I, I've got something really fun up, up my sleeve. I'm not wearing sleeves, but you know, it's up my sleeve um, under my bracelet. <laughs> got some fun plans for Club that are going to start happening probably this month and you're not gonna wanna miss it. So if you are interested in joining Club Create, let me pop up on the screen right here. You can head to club.stampwithmelissa.com um, and check that out, okay? And join us, it is $40 a month. You get loads of stuff. So you get the supplies to make those eight cards. You get the um, like $25 in product this month. So just fun stuff to keep using like papers, embellishments, ribbons, things like that. Uh, you get a detailed PDF tutorial. You get the special secret thing that I'm not telling you what it is yet. <laughs> um, yes, and Lori was totally my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. And she finally did. And she just said, 
she's glad she finally did it. <laughs> um, if you are going to subscribe to club your very first month, if it's your very first month of getting club, you get a special gift from me. And every six months that you're subscribed, you also get a super awesome gift from me, including a whole brand new stamp set. So um, make sure you check that out and let me know if you have any questions. The last day to subscribe for August club is the 20th. Okay. So that's coming up in 19 days. <laughs> um, Hello, Peggy from North Idaho. Welcome. Okay, Kathleen said you sent an email into DS. So they took a week to get back to me about something else. And it's all about, you know, I think they're just bogged down with the new website. So just be patient. But they did get back to me today about an email I sent a week ago. So keep that in mind. <laughs> um, but I did call DS this morning and I was only on, like in on the wait for like two minutes. So that was pretty awesome. Okay. Oh my gosh. I didn't even tell you trucking along. Some of you might say, where the heck is this? Hi, Lynn. Welcome. You might say, where the heck is this in the catalog? It's not. It's actually an online exclusive product, which means you can only view it online and purchase it online. Um, it is awesome. I don't think I opened it, did I? It is photopolymer, which of course you need because you need to be able to layer things into that truck bed and two-step stamp and all of that. Um, so it is a super awesome stamp set. I love it so much. It's so cute. Yesterday on the way to my nephew's t-ball game, we saw a vintage truck in the little auto shop um, lot thing. And I was like, no way. I almost took a picture and then I was like, that'd be weird. <laughs> um, anyway, so let me show you then the cards using this set that I have already Oh, Lynn, you got your June kit yesterday. Yay. That's so exciting. Have fun playing with it. Um, I'm excited. Um, okay. So let, sorry, I'm so many squirrels today. <laughs> let me show you the cards I've already shared on my blog this week. So this is the first one. Oh, that, oh, I thought that was loose. It's not. Phew. Um, <laughs> um, this is the card I shared on my blog yesterday, Monday. And I call this my Barbie card because um, I really went in for the pinks here. Melon Mambo and Bubble Bath, plus some Granny Apple Green and Lemon Lime Twist uh, for our leaves. So, and some basic white, of course. But I love this card. I have wanted to play with these dies for forever. Those are the dies, too, I showed you that are on my name tag from the event last weekend or this past weekend. Um, and I wanted to play with them. And I was like, oh, there's flowers in the truck of the bed. Hmm. I think I'm going to just tie the two together. Now, I know the flowers are way bigger than the truck, but it looks good, right? These are people-sized and that's Barbie-sized. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is yesterday's card. I love it. I think it's beautiful. And it's going to be hard for me to send it. You know, you make those cards sometimes. That's the only one I made of that. Sometimes I make doubles. Lots of times I make doubles. And, yeah, that's going to be hard for me to mail. <laughs> All right. And then this is the card I shared today on my blog as part of the color challenge for this week using Crushed Curry, Bubble Bath, and Pretty Peacock, and Night of Navy. There is a little bit of Misty Moonlight here in the DSP too. Um, and I said when I posted this one on Facebook today that I was going to show you another card that I made using this exact same layout um, with a different pattern of DSP. So here's that one. Uh, you have to let me know which one you like better. I actually made this card first. And then I thought it maybe was a little bit too much white space. So this is the one I decided to photograph. But let me know which, oh, come here. Which one do you like best or both? You can say both. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to start um, this week's card, or I should say the remaining cards for this week and this week's class to go. So if you place a, oh, let me switch this. Sorry. If you place a $35 order with me this week uh, before tax and shipping, you will get this week's class to go featuring the trucking along stamp set and punch if you have it. Um, and you will get the supplies to make six cards to each of the three different designs. And we are going to put together those three cards tonight so you can see how it goes. Um, oh, lots of people like the darker one better, but also like both. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, if you place a $50 order before tax and shipping, you'll also get a full pack of these ombre matte decorative dots gorgeous in four different colors, two different sizes, and then of course they're ombre. So you can see darker to lighter on each of the colors. Um, I will also mention that it is now August. So bonus days coupons, if you earned bonus days coupons in July, you can start redeeming them. So make sure you look at that, right? So if you're trying to hit the $50 order level and you put in a $5 coupon, you're going to go down to 45. So just watch that get some extra stuff, some goodies. <laughs> um, and our kits are on sale all month. So make sure you check those out too. 
Um, there's a new one that came out today with Christmas tags, and it's only $11.70 for 15 tags. And then if you add your bonus days coupons to it, you could basically get a free kit. So um, if you add three, three coupons. So I'm going to use mine on my pre-order tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, all right, so let's take a look. This is the very first card we are going to make today. It is sweet and simple, and it's a nice masculine birthday card. So let me pull out our card kit here. And then I've got my bin, you know. I showed you last week. I'm trying this bin. Um, so let me go ahead and show you. I know tags are great, and I'm excited to find coordinating wrapping paper. Because I love putting handmade tags instead of the sticker tags. I like doing the handmade tags and bows and ribbons and all the fancy schmancy stuff to my gifts. <laughs> all right. This card kit comes with a thick basic white card base, a basic white layer. I will send you a strip of this um, it is the white center specialty paper, and this is Azure Afternoon uh, color. You'll get two square die cuts using the stylish shapes dies, one in pebbled path and one in balmy blue. You'll get a piece of basic white to stamp and then either punch or fussy cut your uh, truck. And then you'll also have some linen thread, okay? All right, for this set, I am also using the Something Fancy stamp set. This is... Um, in the annual catalog. And I'm gonna use happy birthday because there isn't a happy birthday one in the trucking along set. So I wanted to make sure that's what I wanted. So, you know, you can mix and match your stuff. So let me pull out my stamps here and we are gonna get rolling. <coughs> Excuse me. My nose like got all fuzzy for a second. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, all right, so just as a reminder with my classes to go, I do send you all of the pre-cut uh, card supplies, but I won't punch that truck out for you and I won't stamp it for you either. Okay. So what I show you here is what you will get in your kit. All right. So I am actually starting quick with putting some seal down the side of my basic white, and then I'm going to layer on the white center specialty paper. It's going to go flush with the top and bottom, but I just want that to peek through on the side a little bit, just like that. Okay. All right. Let me grab my foam mat out here. Because I know I usually like to start with stamping, but I thought, I don't know where my brain is today. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to kind of place some things down here just to get a general idea. Those are going to go about there. We're going to get to stamping now. Um, oh, yes, tags on cards is, is a fun thing, fun way to use them also. Okay, I'm going to pull out my Pebbled Path ink pad and my Happy Birthday Sentiment. Again, this is from Something Fancy. And we are going to stamp that down. Now I stamped it down under the squares. That's about where I'm gonna put those squares, okay? And then I'm just gonna move this off to the side and I have my adhesive mat down because I have that exposed seal. So let's scooch that. Let's grab our scrap paper. I'm gonna grab that pebbled path um, square and then using that pebbled path ink again and then this little road stamp, I am going to ink this up. We are grounding our truck, right Kathleen? <laughs> <laughs> and stamp that down at the bottom of our pebbled path square and I went off the side a little bit okay all righty so we've got that stamped then I'm going to grab my basic white scrap I am going to close this up briefly grab my tuxedo black memento ink pad and the outline of my truck we will ink that up and stamp that down okay beautiful then I'm going to grab Azure Afternoon. And you know what? I'm going to sneak my foam mat in here because it is a solid photopolymer um, stamp. And so I want to make sure it has that extra cushion underneath so I get a good stamp here. And I'm totally going to scooch this down and stick my head in. But I'm going to line up my stamp here. And I mainly look first at the window. So I look at the window first and then I make sure that the tires look good. So that is kind of how I line mine up. All right, there's Azure Afternoon, and then we're going to pull back in that pebbled path to do our tires. And there is a tire stamp. It is perfectly placed with the two tires, so it'll line up with your stamp. And again, I am going to pull this down. And for this one, I look at the actual tires, not the little circles. Well, I do look at the circles, but after I make sure those tires are lined up, okay? Oh, I totally forgot to mention also, so when you do place your order this week for the class, you do want to make sure you use this host code right here. You do have to use the host code in order to get the class unless your order goes over $150. Then do not use the host code because you're going to get stamping rewards, okay? 
All right, let's see if I can sneak this in here because I didn't leave myself any leverage. I think that looks pretty good. Again, if you do not have the punch, go ahead and uh, fussy cut that out. Oh, that's funny. I must have stamped the truck earlier. <laughs> um, yes, it does add dimension to the card. It sure does, Kathleen. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and assemble here. Now, um, I did want to mention also, just while I'm assembling, um, when if you would like to place an order for this week's class, your order does have to be in by this Friday, August 4th, at the end of the day. I cut everything. I moved my timing a little bit. So now I cut on Monday nights, and I ship by Tuesday, okay? So make sure your order is in by Friday. And then also in the link of the description of this video, I do have the link that goes directly to my online store with that code so you don't have to remember it, okay? All right, now we've got our linen thread. I'm just gonna add a little bit of seal right onto our square here. You can see that. And then I'm just gonna kind of play with the linen thread. You can just have it kind of loop around, you know, just have fun with it. Make it go wherever you want it to go. That looks good to me. I'm gonna tuck that end piece back so it goes there. Then we'll grab our truck. Look, I got a brand new sheet of dimensionals. <laughs> um, oh yes, that was a good idea, Lori. Get one more coupon. Um, and now you have more coupons to use. That's exciting. I know, I'm excited to use mine on my pre-order. That'll be nice. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna go ahead and stick down our truck. Cute, and I totally should have glued this down to um, the card base before I stuck all the things on, but I forgot. So just be careful, maybe use liquid glue and go ahead and lay that onto our card front. Okay, then we fold and burnish. Oop. There we go. And then I'm gonna grab my ombre matte decorative dots and we are gonna grab some of the Calypso coral ones. Whoa, that one wants to be on the card for sure. <laughs> And come here. He said, let me on. We're going to put them behind the truck here. So I'm going to put that one and a little one. Just like that. And that is card number one. Um, I agree. Uh, Alicia said she really likes that the stamp leaves these white lines behind. It's like a glossy glare look. I love it too. I think it's so, it's, it's perfect. It's perfectly designed. <laughs> All right, so there's that guy. Let me grab in our next card. This one is super fun and shows off lots of DSP. So here's this card. It's total like boho vibes, probably because we're using boho blue here. Um, but we've got that countryside in designer series paper featured. Super, super pretty. Um, yes, metallic would look good on this one too. I agree. <laughs> all right, let me pull out all my pieces and get that bin out of the way. And let's take a look at what is included in this card kit. Okay, so for this one, you will get a boho blue card base. You will get um, a piece of the countryside in designer series paper. Your pattern might be different. So if you want to make sure you get this pattern, make sure you order that paper. Okay. Um, you'll have a piece of basic white, a piece of misty moonlight, another piece of the countryside corners DSP. Again, your pattern might be different. So if you wanted to make sure it's the same, you can add that paper to your order. You'll have a piece of basic white to stamp and cut your truck and a circle die cut with the stylish shapes dies out of um, basic white. <laughs> I was like, what's that called? Basic white. All right, so before I get started with stamping, I am going to grab out my chamois quick and we are going to clean this truck because last time we stamped it in Azure Afternoon and this time we're gonna stamp it in Moody Mob. But we are also going to use the outline and the tires and these are gonna be in the same colors as the first set, okay? or the first card. Okay, so we've got that. Let's go ahead, we can start with stamping. So let's grab this piece here and I'll grab my foam mat. Okay, and we'll start with our tuxedo black memento ink. Whoop, too many things on the side. <laughs> um, oh, interesting, Kathy. So we do have foam strips. I don't find, I guess these work for me. I don't use these very often. I use the, um, dimensionals. I love the dimensionals. 
I love that they sneak right in where I need them to. Um, oh, Kathleen, <laughs> you're funny. All right, so let's go ahead and stamp. The problem, Kathleen, is that this craft room is so small. I don't know if we'd both fit at the same time. <laughs> All right, we have stamped our truck. We can go ahead. We'll start with the tires this time. How about just for funsies? There they are. I had to find them. Uh, we will ink up those tires. And then, sorry, my head's going to get in here while I stamp this down. Okay, there's the tires. And we will close this up. And then I'm also going to do the truck in Moody Mob, and my head will be in the way for that one, too, while I line that up. But we're going to do this just like we did with Azure Afternoon on the first card. And sneak my head in. Oh, I was slightly off, but mostly okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so, all right. You can see. I was slightly off, but it's okay. <laughs> it's extra gloss, right? Okay, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and punch this out. Okay, get that all lined up in our punch here. You can see that, and then we'll go ahead and punch it. Pull our piece out and get rid of these scraps. Okay, so we've got that. So what I'm going to do next is pull in my messy scrap paper and my piece here. Oh, you can see our trucks. <laughs> and this time I'm going to stamp the flowers that go in the back of the truck and our sentiment that says farm fresh. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my truck right about where I want it to go on the completed card. Okay, now it's not glued down yet and that's intentional. And we're just going to make sure we can sneak our sentiment in. Okay, in the corner there. And then we're going to ink up the flowers. Get this realigned. So the flowers are going to go right about there. You can see I snuck my truck out and stamped those flowers down. Okay. Now to color in the flowers, I am just going to use Petal Pink Stampin' Blends. And I didn't choose a color for the leaves. You could totally color in the leaves if you would like to. And there is a stamp that does the filler of these um, flowers as well, if you would like to use that. And I just did a little bit of the dark in the middle. And then it's kind of messy coloring because it doesn't need to be perfect because the truck is our full, it's our focal point. <laughs> um, oh, thanks, Alicia. She loves the Moody Mob truck. I would have, a, I would drive a pink car if I could. 100%. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and adhere all of this. I'm going to start with the larger piece of DSP. Add some seal to the back and layer this onto our card front. Okay, we can go ahead and fold and burnish. Beautiful. And then we're going to add DS, or I'm sorry, seal to the back of our smaller DSP. Layer that onto Misty Moonlight, the Misty Moonlight layer. Add some seal to the back of the Misty Moonlight layer. Layer this onto basic white. So we're doing triple matte here. Super fun. I love how it looks. Add some seal to the back of this piece and then lay this on the center of our card front. Beautiful. And then we are going to add some dimensionals to the back of our circle and then to the back of our truck and stick those on the card front. Okay. Um, Yes, Kathleen, that's where we're headed. <laughs> you are beating me to it. <laughs> All right, so we will stick that down and then add some dimensionals to the back of the truck. It's like you knew. <laughs> um, I did not give it a rustic look, but I we are going to color the truck in with blends. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and st stick that down so we have those flowers in the truck bed there, okay? And then we will finish this card off. I believe these are Knight of Navy down here. And we are going to use, I'm going to use the lightest color and stick on some ombre matte decorative dots. Whoops. And this is card number two. Look how quick and easy that came together. Um, when you do place the order for this class, you will get a PDF with all of the measurements. And so you can cut DSP and make loads of these cards using lots of different colors, which will be super awesome to see too. So that is card number two. Let's go on. Kathleen guessed it. Let's go on to card number three, where we're going to color the truck with Stampin' Blends. <laughs> all right. Let me pull out the stuff. 
all the stuffs, right? So we've got these and this, and let me put some stuff that we're not using in here. How about clear off my desk a little? That's good enough, I think. Okay, so this card kit will have a Mossy Meadow card base. Yes, easy peasy card. Yep, absolutely. Um, you'll have a layer of basic white. This designer series paper is the one horse open sleigh pack. So you can see, I so sadly had to cut that deer. <sighs> um, anyway, your pattern again might be different. So if you want to make sure that you have this pattern, you'll want to make sure to order this DSP. It is so good. It's so good. Um, this whole pack is just beautiful. It already sold out once, but it's back in stock now. So you'll also have a basic white shape cut out with the nested essentials dies. And you'll, well, oh, come here. You'll have a strip of basic white for your sentiment. So let's go ahead. We'll start with stamping and let's start with our little sentiment here. And, you know, I always feel better when I have my messy scrap paper and I'm stamping. <laughs> All right. I am pulling the uh, pebbled path ink pad. And then we can go ahead and stamp down our sentiment. Super easy peasy. I love that. Easy peasy. Um, and we'll grab our rectangle here and have it the long way. And let's grab our road again. And we use the same pebbled path with card number one. So we'll go ahead and just stamp that right on down. Okay. Then we can go ahead and close up pebbled path. We're done with that. Okay. And then we'll grab tuxedo black memento ink grab the outline of our truck, ink up our truck, and stamp that down. Now you can stamp it right on top of the road if you'd like to, but I am going to have it hover a little bit. Um, yes, it does. It really, the paper does do all the work. It is gorgeous. I know I'm in love with it too. All right, then I inked up our tree, and I'm going to get my head in here. We are going to stamp the tree in the bed of the truck. It's so cute because it just lays slightly over the top adorable. <laughs> um, and then we're going to go ahead and do some coloring. Oh, I totally put those petal pink ones away and we need them. There we go. Got them back. <laughs> All right. So I am going to start with petal pink with our actual truck. We are having some pink trucks today, huh? So I, for those of you who don't know, I drive a Jeep and I drive a Jeep compass, but Jeep Wranglers actually have like a pink color. And I want it, <laughs> uh, but I don't have it. So I drive a boring gray Jeep instead. <laughs> anyway. All right. So I added the dark. Make sure not to color inside that window there. And there's a back window as well. And then I'm just going in with the light now to color in the rest of the truck. Fill it all in. Okay. There's a little fender or bumper or light thing on the back. So I'm not coloring that either. And then I'm going to use pebbled path. So I am going to use dark pebbled path. Deborah, is that supposed to be funny? <laughs> My favorite color is pink, of course. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, I use the dark pebbled path on those little things. I don't know trucks. So on the little dots. <laughs> and then we'll use the light ones around the actual rubber of the tire. Okay, and you could totally blend that as well or just use your um, stamp that does that. And then I, I thought that soft sea foam would be a really pretty color to use with the actual Christmas tree to keep it kind of pastel-y like the truck. So you can see I just added the dark there, just a little bit of shading, and then I will go back in with the light soft sea foam and color in the rest of the truck. Now there are, or I'm sorry, the rest of the tree. There are some spots of the tree that um, are kind of open, so you can kind of just add the color wherever it fits. Just like that. So we have a real cute, real light, simple colored truck there. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and assemble our card. So I am adding some seal to the back of our DSP, and we will layer that onto basic white. Okay, then we will add some seal to the back of the basic white and layer this onto our card front. And I am sending it over to the right hand side, leaving kind of an equal margin on the top, right, and bottom. Okay. Oh, Deborah, that's way too hard. <laughs> what Stampin' Up Pink is my favorite. 
Well, I would say right now it's probably bubble bath, but I think you could also argue that bubble bath is a little bit like a purple, depending on what you pair it with. Like it in this lighting, it definitely looks purple, but like when you compare it there, like it's pink, right? So I would say bubble bath, but I also really like Fairy Burst, and I also really like Moody Mauve. <laughs> I guess it depends on the mood and if I'm going for subtle, bright, or uh, fall. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Any of those three. They'd probably all three look great together, too. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, it does have some purple in it, but when you pair it with the purples, it's definitely pink. <laughs> okay, you can see here I am adding some dimensionals to the back of my sentiment and to my label. We'll go ahead and peel off all of those backings. Okay, it's really funny. I have to show you guys this. Um, with this upside down, you know, the blends bleed through and I have it upside down. Don't those look like eyes? <laughs> I totally think they look like eyes. They're staring at us. <laughs> All right, let's add this to our card front. And you can see now this one I'm putting off to the left a little bit. And then we'll take our sentiment. And I'm going to have the sentiment lay just slightly overlapping our shape here, but um, not entirely. So we've got it stuck down like that. And then let's finish off this cute and simple Christmas card with some of the old olive colored uh, uh, matte dots, decorative matte dots. Yeah, ombre decorative matte dots. You know, these. <laughs> All right, adding one big and one little. And this is card number three. So that completes all three cards that are part of this week's Trucking Along class to go. Um, as a reminder, if you would like the supplies to make these three, or I should say these six cards, three different cards, two each. Um, yeah, it looks like guys. <laughs> um, if you would like the supplies, make sure you place an order in my online store through this Friday, August 4th, 2023. Um, at the end of the day, kits will all ship by the eighth. <laughs> I had to count. Uh, they will all ship by the eighth. And uh, if your order is $35 before tax and shipping and bonus days coupons, you'll get the supplies to make these. If your order is $50 or more before tax shipping and bonus days coupons, uh, you'll get the supplies to make these plus a full pack of the ombre matte decorative dots from me as an extra gift. Okay. Um, as a reminder, if you would like to join club create this month. These are the cards that we are making there. So if you are a club create member and you do this class to go, you actually get supplies to make two of each of these cards. So you actually can make eight or no, sorry, 14 of the cards. You could make 18 because you'll have extra product left over from club. So you'll get to keep creating to your heart's content. <laughs> um, and of course the club has different stuff, a different theme as you can see than the class to go cards. So um, definitely want to double dip on those. Okay. All right. I think that's all. So I will um, just say thank you all for being here, for joining me tonight. If you have any questions, let me know by emailing me. My email is melissa at stanfordmelissa.com. Don't forget when you place your order for class to go, it does not matter what you order. So if you don't have the stamp set, maybe you need both of these. Um, you can use different sentiments, of course, too. Uh, you can order whatever you need for the class, but make sure you put in this host code right here. Again, if you click the link in the description of this video, it will take you to my online store and already have that host code um, added. But um, I can't add it for you later. So if you forget it, I'm so sorry. Okay. All right as Kathleen and I both said, um, Stampin' Up! is taking a little bit to get back to us. So it's really hard to have them add the host code if you forget right now. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much. And um, if you're on my team, I'll see you tomorrow. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye for now.